Alright everybody, what is up? It's Thunder, welcome back, and the summer of no hype for Black Ops 4 continues, but we got some hype here for Black Ops 3! Triple Played, baby! Triple Played is back at the XM Cheese! Oh, so much queso, baby! Hope you guys brought your prune juice. Oh, what? Yo, the ICR, man. Yo, the I keep forgetting how good the ICR actually is. <laughs> just looking around like now, like, huh? How'd I just lose that fight? Hit fire on my XM cheese against the ICR suppress. But, hey, man, it happens. It happens, people. So, well, actually, we do have a little bit, a tiny shred of hype for Black Ops 4, a glimpse, a, a flicker, something coming out of Germany. GameStop Germany coming through again with the clutch leaks. GameStop Germany, according to them, is reporting that the Black Ops 4 beta, nobody knows when the beta is going to be announced. Activision, they say shit. Nobody knows anything, Treyarch. Well, I'm sure they know, but they just don't want to come out and say when the beta is going to be. They don't want to say anything about the beta, but our homies in Germany have come through for us yet again, people. According to GameStop Germany, the Black Ops 4 beta will be available. Nobody knows when. Like I've been saying, they, they're afraid to tell you anything about the beta. They're afraid to announce a beta date. Maybe it'll happen at Comic-Con, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Sit down, Goku Black. Sit down, homie. Oh, eat that sandwich, bitch. But it looks like PS4 is going to get the beta first, whenever it comes out, fellas. <laughs> that, that is just terrible. The console exclusivity cheese. The worst type of cheese there is. That's some smelly, old, funky, moldy, stale cheese. That's the type of cheese that just stinks up the whole damn room, makes everybody want to vomit. Yo, the only thing I know that's worse than charging people for multiplayer maps in 2018 is this con- Oh, damn, Goku Black just lit me up right there, man. Good shit, man. Good shit. But the only thing worse than the Black Ops Pass is probably the console exclusivity, man. That is the dumbest thing I have ever seen. Can we please stop with the console exclusivity? I mean, Activision. You, well, Activision and Sony. Are you guys serious? You think map packs are going to make people buy a place? Oh, look at this dude right here. Look at this dude with the C4. Oh, Rejax and our son. Damn, my sandwiches are so good. We got dudes coming back from the dead to get a taste. Mmm, bon appetit, homie. And Sony, I think Activision is ripping you off, man. Trust me, no one's buying a PS4 first so they can play on the DLC maps to go up against dudes like this kid right here. Goku Black M8 Sweats with Afterburner, Fast Hands, and Blast Suppressor. I mean, in case you guys haven't been paying attention, man, people want a disabled DLC option. Ain't no one trying to go into these sweaty-ass DLC lobbies? Nobody wants to do that. Hey, they should make the maps free for everybody. So the, the maps are a balance of skilled players. Not all diehard COD fans who sit around playing this game 12 hours a day with their Blast Suppressor, Afterburner, Fast Hands, M8, and, you know, Chronos uh, Max mods on their M14 so they can shoot that bitch rapid fire without grip and have it have absolutely no recoil at all. Uh, and I'll show you guys a little bit later on exactly how much recoil the M14 actually does have, even with grip. Oh, sit down, Thunder. Damn. Damn, he's damn Goku Black. Ooh, he's coming after me hard, dude. <laughs> Goku Black coming after me hard, man. I better watch out, but he might fuse with Zamatsu and really start kicking my ass. I better watch out. Ooh, eat that sandwich, baby. So, console exclusivity is the dumbest shit I've ever heard of, man. Listen, map packs ain't selling PS4s anymore. Is anybody going out buying... Damn, where are all these sweats coming from, dude? Yo, is anybody... Oh, that's right. It's Triple Played Lobby. I keep forgetting. Is anybody going out and buying a PS4 just so they could play on the map packs first? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sony, stop the console exclusivity thing, man. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard of. And how much is Sony paying Activision for that console exclusivity anyway? Does anybody know? <laughs> Whatever it is, man, you get ripped off, son. You get ripped off big time. Whoop, whoop, where's this guy at? Where's this guy at? Oh, get, oh, son, watch out, son, watch out. Ooh, get smacked, bitch. <laughs> Busted his nose. Oh, get old. Damn, the revenge payback spawns. Damn it, man. Damn. Yo, whoever invented the revenge payback spawn system for Call of Duty, sir, you a scrub. With all due respect, that's some nonsense, man. I mean, if you're at least going to have this broken payback spawn system in the game, can you at least have it fun? Like MW2, they had the money flying up in the air when you got to payback on somebody. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> 
Man, the rev- I'll tell you what, though. The spawn system for Free For All here in Black Ops 3, best spawn system I've seen. I mean, at least I'm not spawning inside people like I do in uh, COD World War II. You guys remember MW3 spawn system? Oh, my God. MW3 probably had the worst Free For All spawns in any Call of Duty game ever. I mean, it was just... Re- you would literally spawn right across from somebody all the time. It was ridiculous. Anyway, that's the game, guys. Super sweaty ass Goku Black coming in second place. And people are like, dude, how do you know the guy's a sw- uh, sweat, man? Listen... Anyone who uses an M8 with Holy Trinity 2.0 and has all them X's in his PSN, especially with Gold Hero armor, bro, sweat confirmed. Sweat confirmed. Anyway, guys, moving right along, man. I'm using this M14, another DLC weapon. Oh, my goodness, a Gold Hero armor sweaty. Ooh, the good thing about killing these Gold Hero armor sweaties is 9 times out of 10. Actually, 9.9 times out of 10, they're going to have a VMP as a primary weapon. You can just pick that up and have it as a backup. And the VMP is a real nice backup weapon to have with the M14, guys. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> this M14 is amazing. It's a monster. And even up close, it's pretty damn good, too, if you can catch people. But anyway, guys, moving right along, fellas. It looks like we've got some interesting announcement coming from Activision. I hope it's better than the last announcement because you guys remember the last announcement when they announced the Black Ops Pass is going to have multiplayer maps in it? Yeah, backlash inbound, causing community backlash now. Yeah, let's not do that again, fellas. Let's not do that again. So wait, guys, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies panel for Comic-Con July 19th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, the description for the panel states that Treyarch's Jason Blundell and Craig Houston will be part of the panel to talk about the history of zombies. And by the way, I think Zombies is going to be the most popping thing in Black Ops 4. I think Zombies is going to be better than the multiplayer and probably the Blackout mode. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe not. It, it all depends. If you're a Zombies fan, I think you're in for a huge treat this year. If you're a multiplayer and Battle Royale fan, the jury's still out, man. Haven't seen enough. <laughs> haven't seen enough. Need to see more. Haven't seen enough multiplayer and haven't seen any of Blackout yet. But Zombies looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, the panel will include never-before-seen footage and also special announcements. Really? There's going to be some special announcements being made on July 19th at the Comic-Con Zombies panel? What's it going to be? It needs to be something, man. Activision, you need some hype for this game, please. You are getting demolished in the hype war. There basically is no hype. The Forsaken DLC has got more hype than Black Ops 4 does right now, man. Destiny 2, probably the most dead-ass game out there, has more hype. Black Ops 3's got more hype than Black Ops 4 right now, man, because of the triple played contract. We need some hype for Black Ops 4. Let me tell you the announcement that needs to be made at Comic-Con, okay? You ready for this? Activision, you want to save this franchise? Because when you announced that there was no campaign, and then when you announced that there was a pass containing multiplayer maps, you, look at this, look at this VMP. Oh my goodness, no wonder why all you sweats use this shit nonstop. Oh man, I'm even outgunning sights with it. Oh my goodness. Uh, but you need to generate some hype, dude. What? This guy, how'd this guy see me? Oh, I missed out on that watermelon camo, man. I was in the Dominican Republic on vacation. Yeah, missed out on that. Uh, I wasn't around to pick up that watermelon camo, unfortunately, man. But yo, I would trade a trip to the DR for some watermelon camo any day of the week, homie. <laughs> Any day of the week, son. I don't care. <laughs> I'll trade the trip to the DR for every camo that's ever been invented. Oh, my goodness. The M14. Damn, son. Melting people, man. My M14. Mucho caliente, hermano. Oh, siéntate, son. All right, guys. So, anyway. <laughs> Here's the announcement that needs to be made this time around. Activision, don't mess this up now. Here's what you need to announce, Activision. You need to announce that all pre-orders will be able to have access to the game early. And everything, the zombies, the battle royal, the multiplayer, just like Battlefield 5. If you pre-order Battlefield 5, you get the game early. That would be a cool announcement everyone would like to hear. Another announcement you could make is that the Black Ops Pass is still going to be in the game, but it's only going to include zombies content. You've got to negotiate with us, Activision. You've got to meet us halfway, man. You want to put the pass in the game, just have it be zombies content only. And give us the multiplayer maps for free once a month. I know some people are going to be like, yo, why don't they just release all the maps all at once then? No. You release... A bulk of the maps at launch and then keep giving us free maps each month just to keep you know new updates coming in just to keep the hype going keep people talking and it keeps the game fresh you know what I'm saying just release the maps once a month keep the game fresh and another announcement you could even make after that Activision is the beta date we better get a beta date coming out of this comic-con I mean at least give us that and don't have the beta be just 
for multiplayer because we've already played Black Ops 3 for the past three years, man. And Black Ops 4, we all know it's pretty much Black Ops 3 without jetpacks, okay? So that's not going to generate any kind of hype whatsoever. Have the beta be multiplayer playable, zombies playable, and battle royal playable. Put it all out there, Activision. Like I said, man, you're in a hype war right now. If you come out at that Comic-Con panel and you say, yeah, the beta's going to be whenever, sometime in August, and you then you come out and say, and hey, we're going to put everything out there, everything's going to be on display. You guys are going to be able to play zombies. You guys are going to be able to beta test the zombies mode, the multiplayer mode, and the blackout mode. Bam, there goes your hype. Now everyone's talking about the game. Everyone's excited. Everyone's spending money, man. When people are excited and hyped about stuff, guess what? They're going to open up their wallet. I mean, haven't you guys at Activision learned anything from watching Fortnite? Oh yeah, and speaking of Fortnite, guys, here's another announcement Activision can make. Almost forgot this one. <laughs> here's another announcement Activision can make. Activision, how about you announce that your new Battle Royale mode will be free for everyone to download and try out? You make that announcement too, that'll generate some hype. The Blackout mode will be free, really? That's what Fortnite did. Fortnite's making millions, probably billions of dollars a month right now, man. Fortnite's making more money than they could even count. Probably more money than even you could count, Activision. Epic Games is dominating. Make that announcement too, man. There's one thing that Fortnite and Epic Games have shown us is that you can make more money by just getting people to your game. Just by giving stuff away free, you know, getting them to come to the game, get them to sit at the table, then you can flood all your skins and your battle passes and whatever the hell you're going to put in the supply drops in there. Once you get the players on the game, they will spend more money on microtransactions than by you'll ever make on this dumbass pass. The past needs to be zombies content only. High cal cheese for the win, baby. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this. Activision, what you cannot do is alienate the community any further. Because what you guys did at Gamescom, when you announced the no campaign was official, and you announced the past, you just destroyed the community, man. You generated a bunch of backlash, a bunch of hate. You cannot afford to make that same mistake. So come out this time, come correct. Tell the community what they want to hear. Start giving away some free shit, man. Give away some free shit now, and you reap the rewards later. I mean, have you learned nothing from Epic Games and Fortnite? That's all I got, fellas. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.